Hi, this is a quick demo of some of the new features in Sonar K. Um, this is our uh, main visualization GUI for uh, the system that has the uh, JSON documents um, in the system. And uh, Sonar K just gives you a really, really easy way to query the data, analyze the data, uh, build dashboards, etc. It's based on Kibana. Um, uh, with some modifications we made, but on the back end, what happens is uh, every um, every Kibana query that is naturally in Elasticsearch is converted to a MongoDB aggregation pipeline, and that's uh, what uh, happens on the back end. Um, so it allows you to keep the data in SonarG or DCAP Central as JSON documents uh, without uh, indexes, without uh, complexity without any uh, metadata that has to be manually defined um, and yet you can query anything so for example I'm looking at a sonar GD exception doc, uh, collection uh, if I change this to look at uh, 15 days ago I'll get all the exceptions that occur in that time frame if I change it to uh, 15 weeks ago I'll get all those I can then start drilling down. I can say, let's look at only the, the, the exceptions that happened in this time frame. So I pick a time frame, it gives me this. Uh, underneath, it gives me all of the documents. So for example, if I wanna say, I wanna exclude any, of, any document that has a database protocol of DB2, I just click this. It'll add a filter up here that says uh, no uh, DB2. I can remove this, I can add any filters that I want. Uh, it knows all the distinct values. So for example, I can say something like server type is, and then I'll get all the distinct values. So if I want to get only Snowflake uh, documents, I'll get the Snowflake documents. Everything just happens very quickly and very intuitively. Uh, the same thing goes here. If I want to uh, look at all the database error texts, I can look at this. It'll I can analyze and get the top 20 values. Uh, then I can say, okay, I want to only see authentication failed documents. So I'll click this, it'll add the, the filter over here. So it's just a very convenient way. Uh, the other things that we added in this release, uh, there's some analytic functions behind it. Uh, so for example, if I start with, uh, in, in this time frame, I had a million records. If I reduce the noise, it'll do a lot of deduplication and will show me only things that are uh, distinctly different. Um, so it's doing the analysis right now and it's looking for all of the combinations and out of the 1 million, there's only 200,000 that are different. Um, so that's an analytic function. Uh, we also added uh, reactive components. So for example, if I go to a different collection that has way more data and I change the time frame uh, to say, you know, between um, um, say two years ago um, to, to now. Okay, so that's, that's uh, um, and I update this, then what will happen is now it's going to a very um, large data set. Um, and at this point, the whole UI will be very reactive, meaning it'll, it, it already brought me uh, the top, the, the information I need, the first 500 that I can keep working, but now it's, it's incrementally building the histogram because the histogram is looking at, um, and you can see up here, it's already built it based on 800 million, um, and it'll keep going in the back end, but I can start working already with the data that now it's 1 billion. So it's a, it's a reactive UI uh, where the data is built on being built uh, while, I can, while I can start working on it and start looking at documents. Um, nothing's stopping me from doing that. Uh, the other thing that, uh, that, that this gives you is the ability to create very, uh, very cool dashboards. So, you know, I'll show you a few examples of these the Sonar K dashboards. Uh, th this is a threat dashboard. It shows me uh, all the attacks that are occurring on the database by type. Uh, another example of a dashboard is um, a rights management dashboard. So, for example, 
I can look at, uh, pr at, at various privilege analysis. It'll show me which user has which roles, what roles, what, what, what lineage every permission belongs to, so uh, what depth the role and the privilege is, the fact that C. Brown has a test role for, that is the lineage by which it, that user received that privilege. And here I can see the graph of the privileges themselves. Um, so all these, all the dashboards are built into the system, but also it is very, very simple to build your own visualizations and your own dashboards all on top of native JSON data. Uh, so as an example, I'll, I'll, I'll show you I'll build a really simple visualization. I'll build a multi-level pie chart. Um, the way it works, all I need to do is I start with uh, defining which um, which collection I want to work on. So you know, I, I start typing in the collection name. This is the collection that I want to work on. I give it a time frame. So I want to do this, say, for the last 15 weeks. Um, and you know, so the first thing that happens is just creates the fact that there's a 5.6 million of these in the last 15, 15 weeks, but then I can go and, and slice it by a term and say that I wanna start with a server type. And so I do this um, and, and now it'll, 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 it'll give me the slices based on uh, the different server type, at which point I can add another sub bucket and say that I want to use another term um, and do, I don't know, say uh, the username. So for each for each one of these slices, it's going to create these sub slices based on this other term. And then I can um, just say, give this thing a name and, uh, and save it. So I'll let it finish uh, computing because it's a multi-level multi-level group so it has to group everything by by one uh, term and then in within it it has to compute the 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 subterms um, right so like in this in this one out of the one million there are um, 67 thousand of one and uh, 11 thousand of another um, so if I save this, for example, let's call this uh, viz demo one. Okay, so I'll save this, and then I'll create another one. Um, you know, for example, I'll create a heat map. Um, And again, just like before, I'll, I'll pick the collection this is on. And I'll say that the uh, x-axis is going to be a date histogram. And then the y-axis is going to be a term. So I said that I'll, 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 I'll use the same thing I used before. I'll use server type and uh, run this thing. So now what it'll do is it'll give me uh, a heat map where for every server type, it's showing me how things are evolving over time. And uh, the, 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 more, the more sessions in this case of the server type at this time frame exists, the, the bigger the color. And I can go and change this to saying uh, reds because maybe this, maybe this is green to red. Okay, so I'll, I'll do this. It'll it'll recompute and repaint this thing, and then um, I'll just make sure that this is exactly what I want. So the more red it is, the the worse it is. And I'll save this thing, and I'll call this. Um, I don't remember what I called the other one. This test two. Okay, and then at that point, I can go and build the dashboard. Um, I'll create a new dashboard. I'll add, um, I'll add uh, this one and this one. And maybe I'll also add um, some kind of a list. And then I will reorganize things. 
Okay, so I'll reorganize this uh, to be a, to give it a little more space. Um, and at this point, if I'm happy with this, I'll just save it as a new as a new dashboard. And again, remember everything on the back end is always just a JSON document. So any data set that you have, any collection that you have, you can add. And these are the actual JSON documents that that this that are being queried. Uh, so I'm done. I'll save this as uh, dash dash test one. And then I can go and share this and plug it into other applications, um, copy an iframe code, etc. Very flexible, very simple, works on any JSON collection. Um, the, 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 the additions we made in the current version uh, are really to connect all kinds of operations to any document. Um, and so for example, if I go into this dashboard, and I look at one of these JSON documents, I can also attach certain actions to them. Um, so for example, um, each one of these is a threat document which was discovered from a machine learning model. At this point, I can train the model based on this document. I can generate an alert. I can create an incident on it. And sometimes I can even apply a playbook and a playbook is a set of orchestrated actions that occur. So in this case, because this document, this model has attached to it a playbook, I can then click playbook. And really what it does, it just calls an external API that goes and, and uh, blocks access to this user or blocks access to this, to this asset. But the important thing is that we made the ability for any document that is exposed through the Kibana interface to also be used as um, the input to an algorithm that is exposed as an API. So thanks for watching, and uh, for and there are a whole bunch of other uh, videos uh, about version four one. Um, version four one is a major uh, release for us, covering every single cloud or every mainstream cloud database as a service um, and uh, you know on all of the cloud platforms uh, so uh, go watch the other videos thank you